So, you've joined us. Prove your loyalty to me, and you shall prosper. Talk is cheap. Get out there and get me profits. got here? A newbie. You've got balls walking around out here. The creatures out here tend to eat people who do that. Who are you? People call me Bullet. So, I guess you can do the same. What do you do here? We're exterminators. We deal with any creatures that approach the fort. You know, we stop the meeting people. You're not very chatty, are you? What do you want to talk about? The weather? It's hot. The creatures? They're nasty. The converter? It's an alb curse that attracts monsters. That chatty enough for you? Or do complete strangers always tell you their life history? So, you want to get into the fort? Yes. Once you're in, look for William on the bridge out by the scrap district. Tell him we need more men here. Tell him if I don't get them, he should lock his door at night. Because when we're dead, the streets will be full of creatures, and they'll be coming to gaw off his nutsacks next. What kind of creatures are we talking about? Well, you've been out there, and everything out there wants to get in here. But recently, there have been more of those animals with machines embedded in them. You ask me, it's some sort of plan by the clerics or the owls to wipe us out. Are you our reinforcements? Yes. Really? I mean, you don't look like the reinforcements I was expecting. But whatever. Come here. You're to take over on watch. You will eat here, sleep here, piss here, until you're told otherwise. Clear? Don't leave your post unless it's to deal with an enemy, and then you come right back here afterwards. You spot a threat, you kill it on sight. Are we clear? Sure. Does this place get attacked a lot? What does it look like? And you're the guard here? One of them. It depends on the day. It seems like you're getting messed around. Everyone gets their strings pulled here in the fort. Sometimes you have to dance the way they want you to. Other times, you have to make a stand. You're still alive, so you must have been getting the balance right. Or are you just a troll? You'll plow through obstacles until you get killed? Either way, you're alive. That makes you a survivor. Keep your eyes open. It's dangerous here. Oh, 
Never stop watching. Not if you want to stay alive. What do I have to do for a promotion? Take it easy. You were just promoted. You really can't wait, huh? Waiting was never a strength of mine. That's obvious. So, we're clear. Come to me when all the district overseers have given you their word. That is the only way to become a captain. But you should know, you're not the only one seeking this honor. There are others who are looking for promotion. You will have to prove that you are as skilled a fighter as they are. If you're not, prepare to wait your turn behind them, or you'll have to persuade the district overseers to back you instead. Bullet needs reinforcements outside the gates. Right. I should have figured he couldn't handle it. How many men does he need? You need to get them four men. That's if you want that gate secured. That sounds excessive. But you look like someone who knows their way around the wilderness. So I'll agree. Four men it is. Tell Bullet he will get his reinforcements. have you got? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what goods have you got? But of course.
Should have how many men you need to that sounds excessive, but you four tell me. what do I have to take you wait that's a so come to me but you will have if you're man counts. The more of us there are, the less chance there is of me lining some monster's digestive tract. So, you might just have saved my ass. Hey, you ass! Is William only sending us the dumbest guys in Tavar? I told you to stay on watch. If you go wandering off and leaving the fort unprotected, you won't get any more work from me. You're fired. Later. It's a dangerous time. Travel safe.
Crazy, huh? You think it's a code or something? A code? But it's a name tag. I want to become a captain. And? So you need my word. Yes, I need your word. Then you can learn from another captain. Stryker. He's leading an attack on those forest-loving berserkers. You're going to make sure it succeeds. Then you'll get my word. Who is this Stryker? One of the Duke's men. He killed four of Baxter's captains on his own. Listen to him. He's a survivor. You can learn from him. Where should I meet Stryker? Head to the west. You'll see some sort of giant structure from the old world. You'll find a waterfall there. He'll be waiting by the pool at the bottom of it. You'll find Stryker waiting there. I'll get it done. Good. Meet with Stryker and tell him I sent you. He'll wait for you there before starting the attack. We'll show the Berserkers what it means to occupy our lands. And with them gone, we'll have our way into Adan and the rest of their kind. Which means we can start selling them our chems. It's his own fault. Well, you believe what they say, then the past was very different from today. Oh no, don't tell me you now want to become a captain. Well, you're too late. I've already promised my word to your two rivals. But, but, if you were able to bring me some more bottles of liquor, maybe I would change my mind. How about I pay for your word? And how about you then turn up and steal those shards back so I end up with nothing? No, I'm not interested in being paid with my own money. But, I am getting an idea how I can help you. If you're that determined, there's only one way you can get my word. There are three guys who owe me shards who have resisted my attempts to persuade them to pay up. If you think you have what it takes to be a captain, you'll get that money. That's my offer. Get the money, get my word. Take it or leave it. So, to get your support to become a captain, tell me who owes you money. That's part of the problem. I don't know. They're not outlaws, they're berserkers who arrived here recently. One of my asshole barmen let them run up a big tab before I found out. He's already paid the price for that, now they need to. They should be recognizable. They're the only three berserkers I know of in the fort right now. So, get my shards back from those tree-loving throwbacks, won't ya? Give me what I'm owed. Owed? For what? The shards, for helping take care of the berserkers. The berserkers? Yes. Well, I warned you. William was pissed and didn't pay, so... No shards for me, no shards for you. You expect me to believe that? That's the truth. What did you want me to do, pick a fight with the Duke's chosen man? You said you were the man, so pay up. I might be the man, but I can't pull shards out of my ass. I didn't get paid, so you don't. That is life. How long do you need to get the shards? I really don't have a single shard. You can pick me up, turn me upside down, and shake me if you like. But I have a lot of friends here in the fort, so if you go for my throat, you might find yourself with a lot of new enemies. 
So, do yourself a favor and piss off. Yeah, the leaders there are such men. you want. Who are you? Fuck off. I really don't like small talk. So tell me what you want or leave me the fuck alone. Who the fuck are you? You really want to know who I am? You really want to know? Tough shit. I was hoping at least one person in the fort knows what's going on. Are you that person? Maybe. Listen, I meet a dickhead a day who tries lines on me. So unless you've got some real business, or unless my brother the Duke sent you, take the talk to someone else. Sure. Okay. I've heard about what you've been doing here. You've blown into Tavar and stirred things up. Most newcomers start at the bottom and take years to crawl up. You're making enemies here. You know that? Some people are getting upset by your successes. Yeah. Yet here you are, already getting people to trust you. Question is, are you going to stay and help build things here in the fort? Or blow out of here as quickly as you blew in? If you want me to stay, you have to give me a reason to stay. You've got a whole lot of mouth, haven't you? We're going on a little trip, you and me. Then, we'll find out who you really are. When do we go? This is the way you prove to me you're ready to stay. And that it's worth the Duke keeping you on. This is the time to prove it. Okay? I'm ready to go. Okay. I'll see you outside. In front of the city. So, friend, as you can see, that area over there is infested by large, ugly creatures with a taste for human flesh. What you have to do now is simple. Go there and kill them. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can handle that. Okay, so stop talking about it and make it happen.
heart. Come and see me when you've recovered. Maybe Tavar does have a use for you. We'll soon find out. And here you are, back again. Ready to go? I'm ready. What is it about? I'll show you when we're there. We? Is this just the two of us? Does that scare you? Are you scared of a challenge? Come on, we'll take care of this alone. Come on, let's get this job done. teams to find him and kill him. And obviously, they lost. Yeah, most of our guys just run from it. Piss ants. What makes him so dangerous isn't just his strength, it's how clever he is when fighting. So be careful, and give him everything you've got. You want to go down there now? Yeah, you and me. We go down there together, we fight together, we stick together. <laughs> Let's see if you've got the legs. You have my word, friend. After all, we have gone through a lot together. You are giving me your word just like that? Well, of course, my friend, of course. Well, there is just one problem you could help me out with first. There are two other guys that want to be named Captain, Aaron and Smoke. They've both just got back from expeditions that should have earned them the rank of Captain. So you see, my plan has your interests at the heart of it. So here is my plan. You defeat Aaron and Smoke. I will fight them in the arena, if I must. Okay, good decision. Go and challenge them to a fight in the arena. But remember, you can't afford to lose. Losing will make it really hard for you to take their place as captain. But good luck.
get something to drink first. Now there's the face of a debt collector. Well, you picked the wrong debt. You won't get me to pay. You're gonna pay every shard you owe. <laughs> if I was gonna pay, I would have paid already. So get the fuck out of my face. You're paying, asshole. Oh, look. Here's me standing here, not paying. Oh, look. There's you fucking off with no shards. A weapon's gonna get. Oh! Say it again and get paid for it. You wanna cross him? You're crazy. You're an official. Oh! They're always paying me. They saw the owls and pissed at themselves. Most of them are. Being inefficient. Now then, what? You. So. Your pain. Here. Oh. There. A weapon's gonna get <gasps> you a trouble. Oh. I don't know the guy. Oh. Suppose I never will know. Oh. <coughs> They're always hitting on you here. That is illogical. What's wrong? What do you want? Come on, why are you looking at me like that? I'm here to collect the shards you owe Chloe. Oh, I don't owe anyone a shard. Listen, you match the description I have. Chloe? No, no, that wasn't me. I I've just gone here. I don't know any Chloe. You and your berserker friends ran up a debt drinking in the entertainment district. No, that wasn't us. I mean, yeah, I was there, but we paid. I can get witnesses who'll swear that. Right. Let's find these witnesses. Um, of course. Let me just...
Isn't this the place? No laws, no duties, just whatever you want, whenever you want it? Is that what you think? Well, it's what everyone knows. Why else would you come and live in this desert? Freedom, no consequences. And now if you want to stay here, you'll pay your debt to Chloe. What are you talking about? No laws means no laws. So why should I pay her? I didn't leave the Berserkers just to have someone else tell me what to do. Because if you don't pay, I'll kill you and take the shards. Hey, what? You'll kill me over that much, Alexa? Pay up, now. Listen, hey, uh, all right. I didn't come here for trouble. Here, I'll pay. Just guarantee me that's the end of it, all right? Smart decision. So, we're square, we're clear, yeah? The mechs that went into a venture pretty much killed them. Get something to drink first. Ah, nobody listens to me. So, to get your support to become a captain. I got these shards back from a berserker I found in the entertainment district. Good work. I hope he's still feeling sorry for not paying straight away. Assholes like that need to learn. I got these shards from a berserker who was hanging around the marketplace. He ran up a debt with me and then went shopping? What a shithead. This isn't just about the shards. It's about sending a message so other assholes don't try and rip me off. I found one berserker over by the arena. He paid up. By the arena? It's a good job you got those shards before the asshole got himself killed. So you got all three of them to pay back. You really are good. So good you have something from me that is invaluable. Trust. You can tell William that you have my word. You've earned the right to become a captain. That's it. I'm going. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Do you have a second? Do we know each other? No. And that's exactly why I want to talk to you. I need someone with independent interests. You're not involved with any of the mob here, are you? So I'm thinking that you might be the right person. The right person for what? Well, I've got to tell you, I think my days of being stuck in this rat hole might soon be over. I mean, why would anyone want to be here if it wasn't for profit? So, let me ask you, are you interested in earning a few shots? Sounds like a con. You think? And does that mean you wouldn't be interested in a few thousand shards? There's no way you have that much elixir. Don't be so hasty there. You listen to me, and I'll tell you how close those shards are to being in your reach. I know, I know, it sounds too good to be true. But listen, and then you can decide, yeah? Right, yeah, of course. The thing is... I recently returned from an expedition out into the wastelands. I was looking around in a few ruins for the usual kind of stuff, you know, just the usual. And I came across some knowledge from the old world. And this knowledge, it is so dangerous, it can turn entire regions to desert, or provide them with all the energy they could ever dream of. For real! How does this earn me thousands of shards? Are you kidding? Imagine what people would pay for this power.
And here you are, back again. Ready to go? I have news from Ignaton. The clerics are planning a big offensive against the Alps. So? What does that have to do with me? We're gonna finish my business, and until then, I don't care what the clerics are doing. I'm ready. What is it about? I'll show you when we're... We? Does that... Come on. There. We've said... Yeah. What may... Yeah. We can... <laughs> Let's see if you've got the legs. Most of them annoy me. All of them annoy me. So, it's you. I heard you want to become a captain. Well, you're too late. That promotion is mine. Well, we'll see about that. You can wait your turn. I've been working for the Duke for years. He knows he can depend on me. He knows I'll bring him profits. What do you know about Tavar? Where were you when the Duke and Nasty took this place from Baxter? Whatever you did in the past, you're not as good as me today. Keep your tough man act. I've proved myself already. Fighting you won't mean anything. Take these shards and meet me in the arena. What? <laughs> you expect me to give up promotion for that? I could earn that much scavenging a picked out ruin. But you paid and I stand by my word. We will deal with this fight as soon as you're ready. I challenge you. Then I'll meet that challenge. Come to the arena. I'll meet you in the cage. I need the shards. It's as simple as that. You've talked the talk. Ready to find out what you've talked yourself into? This is your only chance. You lose, you've lost for good. You won't get a second chance. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
that hurt? I have to say, I underestimated you. I haven't had such a close fight for a long time. Here, take your shards back. That's our business done. Say it again and you will pay for it. Is she really so gullible? Hey, asshole. I hear you think you're gonna get named as captain. Give me a minute to grab a smoke before I beat you bloody. I should take advice from someone who can't afford their own smokes? Why pay if you can take? Smarts, you see. I got them. Why should I worry about someone who hasn't got the balls to take what they want? And look at me. I'm not worried. You put that together all by yourself with no advice. So put this together. I want promotion this time around. And I want to finish my smoke. So how about you wait a little longer and don't get in my way? You really don't want to get yourself in a place where you're pissing in my pond. Scared I'll beat you. Four people have tried to bump me out of my place this month. Don't make it five. I'm getting the promotion this time around. I've earned it. And you're still looking like you're gonna get in my way. If we have to do this, let's get the fight out of the way. Okay? Let's fight now. Get your ass to the arena. Let's finish this now. You must consider that again. I don't know the guy. Suppose I never Four assholes in my way. Now become five. Time to take you out of the running. <coughs> 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 Is she really so gullible? Four. Ugh. <clears throat> 
Most of them annoy me. All of them annoy me. We have nothing to say to each other. Consider that again. Four Over. You asshole. This was my year for promotion. Oh fuck. I can't believe I've blown it because of an asshole like you. I guess I get the promotion. That's what I thought. You'd better watch out. Someone will want to take you down. You want to cross him? You're crazy. About my promotion to captain. Well, my friend, have you defeated Smoke and Aaron? I defeated Aaron. That is good. Now you just have to defeat Smoke and you'll have a clear shot at promotion. I defeated Smoke. Very good. So I can give you my word. Now that Aaron and Smoke are out of the way, I have already discussed everything with William. You are the only one eligible for promotion now. Congratulations.
You must be the new guy Madbot promised us. Yes. We're to start the attack now. About time. We've been running a real risk of being spotted by the Berserkers. Okay, so you're ready? believe they actually have sex with trees? We're doing Megalad a favor killing these perverts. Don't leave any alive. What's that thing doing here? Who wants this canyon? Let's get it back before he has our balls cut off and they
cultivated cultivators cultivate laws. No. Uncultivated cultivators cultivate lawfully cultivated cultivations. <laughs> That's it in the... Wait, wait, what? What the hell is that? Shit. They're attacking. Get up! Get up! Get up, everyone! attack on the Berserkers was successful. They're all dead? Yes. Then their bodies can feed that damn forest of theirs. Job done. Tell William you have my word. 
Now you can piss off. About my promotion. Don't tell me they have already given you their word. Rat has given me his word. I'm betting he lined his pockets before you got that word. He believes in profit. Let's hope you bring us all that sort of profit. I have Mad Bob's approval. Yeah. Strange that the word of any man who has the word mad in his name gets listened to at all. Chloe is vouching for me as a captain. You've worked quickly. You've persuaded all of the district overseers to give you their word. So you have opened the way to be named captain. Teach me something. All right, 